What's up, YouTube? Facebook compadres, Ham Radio Nation, and LinkedIn. So, we got a little project here today. This actually just came in. This is going to be a short video just done on, on this. So, uh, I went to cut off the other night and uh, had to service a tower. I had to drive to the garbage dump. And uh, literally, the tower is behind the garbage dump. But, uh, man, I got some stinky mud on there. So, I had to go wash the engine compartment and everything off. Man, my, my pulley started squeaking. So, uh, it's about right at 100 bucks worth of stuff if I got it from AutoZone. So, I got the doorman the idler pulley in uh 4.3 v6 is the part number and then i got the gates tensioning pulley and uh part number there and uh there's the drive belt accessory drive belt so all of this was about um it's like 31 dollars shipped two-day shipping with amazon prime um thumbs up to amazon prime and buying a lot of stuff from there but uh, we'll also be installing the console today. I'm going to go ahead and change these belts. I'm not going to make a video of that. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is the console that we recovered from the junkyard. As you can see, it's pretty nasty. I got most of the stuff off. Monique's on the inside uh, house right now, cleaning all these accessory parts, getting them. I completely took them everything, everything apart to, to clean it. Uh, it's pretty, pretty nasty out the junkyard. Uh, the other thing that we got from the junkyard yesterday was uh a new lighting harness for the front of the truck that's got the um fog lights in it so we'll ha we'll have oem fog lights i got two window regulators with the power window motors i have two door harnesses to add the seat controls and the um power window switches and everything and because I have issues with my front speakers. I got a couple of Bose front speakers for the front doors. So the last thing we're missing on that is door panels and uh, I will complete the conversion uh, to everything power. So we'll go ahead and post this. Um, thumbs up for the name brand parts from Amazon Prime and the price. I couldn't buy the bearings alone in town for what I paid for the pulleys and the belt and everything with two day shipping. So, all right, so we got the new idler and tensioner pulley set up this belt does not fit so we're going to do an amazon return on this and we're going to post a review that this is not long enough it needs to be about twice the length so um just uh word to the wise if you're ordering from amazon a 6pk1400 does not fit a 4.3 liter v6 uh, I'm probably sure it'd be the same for the 5.0 and the 5.7 if they came in, in this mere model truck. So the idler pulley is a little bit different. Uh, we didn't need these parts to put it together. I ended up having to use a little spacer bushing on the back. The shoulder of the bolt is uh, big enough to cover the front of the bearing. Don't fit loose or anything. Uh, the instructions say that this is a fully enclosed bearing and does not recover the, does not require the dust shield. So I just wanted to make middle note of that. But uh, other than that, pulleys sound good. I mean, one of them's made by Doorman, the other one's made by Gates. We, you know, it's uh, good quality stuff. So, all right, K5 MOB signing off.